Hi, this is Dean Cardinal from Worldwide Trekking, and today I want to talk about the history of climbing Mount Everest. Okay, Mount Everest was climbed uh, for the first time in 1953, but it had a long history before that. The earliest attempts on Mount Everest were actually from the north side. Nepal's borders were closed from the south side up Mount Everest until 1950. So in the 1920s, expeditions started to go towards Mount Everest on the north side in the North Ridge. And the first expeditions were groups that uh, were led by George Mallory and Andrew Irvine. In the 1920s, they made a number of attempts. They started to figure out their oxygen systems and things like that. And by 1936, they made their last attempt on the mountain where George Mallory and Andrew Irvine made their way up into the clouds and up out of sight, and they never came back down off the top. Years later, in 1999, Conrad Anker found George Mallory's body below uh, the ridge going towards the top. There was a lot of controversy whether they made the summit and then fell coming off, or if they never got to the summit. In 1950, Nepal opened its borders to the outside world, and for the very first time, people could start to come into the region and explore the region. And in 1952, the Swiss pioneered the first route through the Khumbu Icefall. So that big area of ice that's constantly shifting and moving down, the Swiss negotiated through the icefall and made their way up onto the mountain. Later in that expedition, as they worked their way up the western Coombe, up the Lhotse Face, to the South Coal, and even higher on the mountain, they were led by the Sherpa guide Tenzing Norgay, and as they got up higher on the mountain, they made their final attempt to summit, and they got shut down just before the top, above 28,500 feet, at the bottom of the what is now called the Hillary Step. The following year, 1953, the British got an expedition together, and again they used Tenzing Norgay Sherpa to help them with their expedition logistics. They sent a team up to take their summit attempt, and they fell short of the summit on their first attempt. The following team that was with Ed Hillary and Tenzing Norgay got up into position, and they finally summited the mountain May 30th, 1953. Tenzing Norgay and Sir Edmund Hillary finally made it to the top of Mount Everest, 29,029 feet. The first U.S. attempt and the first American expedition that made it to the top of Mount Everest was 10 years later in 1963. Jim Whitaker was the first American to stand on the top of Mount Everest. And then year after year, groups progressively started to climb and have a lot of tragedy on Mount Everest, but also a lot of success over the years. In 1965, a man by the name of James Roberts started to bring trekking groups into the area. There's more than 35 trekking routes in Nepal. So throughout the 60s and early 70s, trekking started to come into the region and people started to explore all of the different routes in Nepal. Okay, that's the basic history about climbing and trekking in Nepal. We're gonna go through all the details about flying to Nepal, arriving in Kathmandu, all the trekking information in this next series of videos. Thanks.